Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. So today we have here uh, two pieces of my acrylic yarn. 100% acrylic and 100%. We're going to make use of two strands. So I'm going to pull one from the other. And I'm going to use my 5mm crochet hook. So we're going to start by making our slip knot. We're going to use two strands using as one. Later on at the end of the video, we'll see how much yarn we're going to make use with this project. So start by making your slip knot and start making your foundation chain. Your foundation chain will depend on how uh, the length or how long you want your bag. And uh, the number of rows will depend on how tall you want your bag is. So for a start, I'm going to make a chain of 35. So I have now 35 chains and to start with our first row on the fourth one two three four on the fourth chain from the hook make one double crochet and we're just going to make use of double crochet for the entire project so continue making one double crochet until you reach your last stitch so now when you reach your last chain we are going to make five double crochets on that very last chain so now we have made five double crochets on the last chain and we're going to continue making double crochet on the other side we're going to hide our tail as we go along On our last chain, we're going to make four double crochets since we already have our turning chain when we start our row. So now we have one, two, three one two three four and five and we're going to slip stitch to join we're going to make a chain two our chain two will not be counted as a stitch and we're going to turn our work so we're going to start on the very first chain and make one double crochet one double crochet in each of the five double crochets here and start making one double crochet around So now I have made one double crochet in each of the chain and I have reached the start where we start our second round and we're just going to make a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet. Remember our chain two doesn't count as a stitch. So now we are so now we are done with our uh, two rows and you can start and now we can see our bag is forming so we'll just continue making a double crochet in each of the chain 
again when we reach the end we're going to make our slip stitch on the very first uh, double crochet that we made so start again by chaining two and we're going to turn our work double crochet on the uh, same chain and continue double crochet in each of the chain so later on when i'm done we're going to make our measurements and let's see how much yarn we have consumed for this project so now i am happy with the width of my bag and i will be cutting my yarn so i made a total of 12 rounds of double crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve going to cut our yarn we're going to close this and we're going to take our yarn needle to sew our end So our bag will be folded from the top. Grab your bag from the top and then we're going to fold and grab the bottom part and it will be like this. And now we're going to make the strap that will hold the middle part. So I'll be using the two strands as well and a smaller hook which is 4.5 millimeter. I will just be making a foundation chain and at the same time I will be holding my bag and I will try the length which I need for my bag. Now I am happy with the length of my foundation chain and we're just going to make one single crochet. For the first row, I'm going to make use of the back bump. One single crochet in every chain using the back bump. So it depends on your so it depends on the size of your bag the width that you're going to make for the strap So I have made a total of four 
rows and I will just leave a longer tail for sewing because we're going to sew this we're going to fold this in half and we're going to sew it and then we're going to attach it to our, to our bag as we go along so I'm just going to finish this off I'm just going to cut a longer tail and cut my yarn So now I have my yarn needle on my tail and we have our bag in here. I'm going to grab from the top. Make sure that you have grabbed the middle part. Just like so. And we're going to wrap around this single crochet row that we did. And we're just going to sew both sides. And I will just tie, or I will just be making a simple knot along with the other end. To secure our uh, ends. And we're just going to sew both ends as well. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our strap. So for the strap, I'm going to use two strands again for my acrylic yarn and my 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. For your foundation chain, it depends on how long you want your strap is so I'm just going to leave a longer tail for sewing later on and we're just going to make a slip knot and start making our foundation chain of single crochet so again it depends on the size of your bag and how long you want your strap will be So once you're happy with the length of your strap, you have to take in consideration uh, at least two inches from uh, both sides wherein you're going to attach it on the back. So uh, take one and a half to two inches from both sides. This will be attached on your bag. So the length of your bag will be this uh, long. So again, we're going to make single crochet and I'm going to make use of the back bump on the second chain from the hook. It has a more cleaner look when you use the back bump. So this is just a single crochet uh, row for the entire strap for your bag so i will just continue making one single crochet for each chain that i have here for the entire strap and I'll just be making three single crochet rows for my strap. 
Now I have made three rows of single crochet and I'm just going to cut my yarn. I'm not going to leave a longer tail since at the beginning I already did. So now we are going to take our bag and since it's already folded, we already know where to attach our string or our strap. So we're just going to take our yarn needle This is the opening of our bag and I'm just going to make one, two, three, four, five until six and place it just like that and we're just going to sew from one side at the bottom part and on the other side. So what we are going to do, since our tail is at the end, so we're just going to sew going up. For us to be able to start from the top, going down and then going up on the other side. So there we have it. So the same thing you're going to do with the other side for the strap. Now I am all done and I have attached both sides of my strap. The measurement of the bags will be at the description down below. You can check it. And this is what is left from our 100 grams of yarn. So both of them. So this is what is left. I used two sizes for our crochet hooks. For the main bag, I used a 5mm crochet hook. And for the strap, I used a 4.5mm crochet hook.